explain to uh, the best way to use a, a proxy using a custom proxy so a proxy is an intermediary server that sits uh, between a client application like a postman so a postman is kind of a proxy and the destination server that the client is communicating with like a api so the proxy server acts as a security barrier making requests on your behalf to websites and other internet resources and preventing others from accessing your internal network by default the postman desktop app uses your system's configured proxy to send api requests or access the internet if needed you can enter authentication details for the default proxy in the postman desktop app you can also configure postman to use system proxy or a custom proxy when sending requests so let's uh, configure the default proxy so if we have configured a proxy for our local system the postman desktop uses uh, uh, the postman desktop app uses this proxy by default uh, to send api requests or access uh, any online so resources so let's select uh, to configure the default proxy so what we are going to do is in the we will get into the postman desktop app and specifically the settings uh, uh, icon that's where on the uh, the settings icon which is in the header and we will select that settings icon and then we have to select the proxy tab you see that a scratch pad click on settings inside the settings icon click on settings then we will find the proxy tab here you see that you click on proxy tab then under the default proxy configuration select the checkbox next to this proxy requires authentication so we have to check this this proxy requires authentication when you check this then we have to enter the username and password required by the proxy server you see that we have to give username and password and then once you give the username and password then we have to click save and restart the postman that's it so that's how we can use our this thing or use our uh, proxy authentication and uh, we can also uh, use a proxy we can use the system proxy for requests also for that under the proxy configuration you see that proxy configuration for sending requests so, so specify a proxy setting to act as an intermediary for requests sent through the builder in postman so these configurations so now here we use the system proxy this is the system proxy and the top one is the default proxy default proxy configuration is the one the postman uses the system's proxy configuration by default to connect to any online services or to send api requests whereas the pro uh, whereas the system proxy here that we have so we can click on we can check this select the checkbox if you want the postman to use the http proxy https proxy and no proxy environment variables configured for your operating system then we have few more options down add a custom proxy configuration so uh, if you check that we can use a custom proxy for a request so to configure a custom proxy to send 
API requests uh, using a proxy server other than your system proxy, you can spend, uh, we, sorry, you can send HTTP requests, HTTPS requests uh, using this. So both type of requests uh, through the custom proxy. Okay. So basically, we will, uh, let me check this. So we got that. Now we can, we have to give this information. So now we have to enter the, uh, the following information. The first one is proxy type. What is a proxy type? So we have to select the type of requests you want to send through proxy server, either HTTP and HTTPS, either of this are selected by default. So normally both are selected by default. So you can select either of this or both. So then it's asking proxy server. So we have to enter the host name or IP address of the proxy server and the port number. So if you include the port number, so where the server, the service is running. So then obviously we can use that proxy server. So here you can see the port number. Okay. Just IP and then port number. So then we have proxy auth that's an off. So authentication, just turn this toggle, turn this toggle off, toggle if the proxy server requires a basic authentication and enter the username and password here for the proxy server. Then we have the proxy bypass. So uh, enter a comma separated list of hosts requests uh, sent to these hosts won't use the custom proxy. So that's how we can add a custom proxy configuration. And uh, uh, so this will be useful when you want to connect with an external server. Uh, uh, but this will be useful in actual use case, in a production use case. Okay. So that's what uh, our custom proxy, using a custom proxy works.